Hello and welcome to another Tactical Corner. This is a segment where I immerse you into the tactical nuances of the battle report that was released earlier in the week. And this week, we see the Custodes and Grey Knights versus all forms of Eldar. So let's dive into this ITC Championship mission. Let's begin. Hello to the Tactical Corner, your supplement for all battle report goodness. So, early in the week, check the link down below if you haven't watched the battle report already. We played uh, Custodes versus Eldari, Inari, Drukari. And it was an ITC championship mission. Now, I didn't want to go into a crazy amount of depth in this Tactical Corner, except to kind of bring a few things to light. Number one, when playing the ITC Championship missions, every point that you can get is worth its weight in gold. Now, spoilers of course ahead, but both armies were, you know, relatively, um, well, they're balanced in points. The Inari, of course, at the moment is very, very strong with the Dark Reapers, the Guardians that Deep Strike, the Rangers, and I added in my flavor uh, of, to this list using the Dark Eldar Venoms. Now, Every turn, being able to get a point for taking an objective, killing an enemy unit, holding more objectives than the enemy, killing more than the enemy, and then all the secondaries that you pick, up to four per secondary. So, picking your secondary objectives and then playing to the mission in ITC is more important than in most games. Now, I wanted to talk about a couple of key things. When playing against Inari, for example, Always, always, always try and block off as much deep striking as possible. I feel like my opponent would have done better putting his Grey Knight Terminators in the back building um, and using Gate to move them up, um, therefore preventing me from deep striking some rangers or infiltrating rangers in the backfield. The Terminators he put way on the flank and then they ended up just killing a bunch of chaff and not really being as effective as they could have been if they would have just been in my face. Meanwhile, um, the sacrifice of the jet bike character. Now those characters are worth their weight in gold. You only ran one, but I feel like when you have a nasty killy character, if you send him out by himself unsupported, he will get completely murdered. And last but not least, you know, when you have tough units, you want your opponent to be worried about them. So you want to put them in your opponent's face, not just throw them off into the corners and then not get the value out of them. So what did you think? Leave a comment down below and thanks for watching. So, we're having a battle report. Rob! Say hi, Rob, to the Patreons. Hello, Hello Patreon. everybody. And we're filming our next battle report. It's going to be a narrative fun one. 60 power level. It's an exclusive. We're playing the game. Uh... <laughs> uh, lots of